Buongiorno guys, here we are today on our last few hours in Florence. We were asking how are we going to enjoy our last few hours in Florence? Let's go to a market. And we are going to the central market here in Florence. Actually a block and away from our Airbnb, so let's go check it out and enjoy our few last hours and have breakfast. Let's go find cafe. Oh, we love tripa. The amount of smells and spices and food. They have anything and everything. Holy damn. I feel like a little kid in paradise. Next time I'm coming to Florence for more days because I want to try and cook my own meal. Smells a little bit sweeter, pretty much like a croissant. Very lovely, look at that. Mm. It is bitter. I did a meal. Mm -hmm. Perfect pastry for breakfast. <laughs> wake up. I was very asleep this morning. I did not want to move. Yesterday we explored all of Florence but we walked 20,000 steps. 20,000 steps. Okay. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, that one. Now we are in my favorite part of the market, the fish section and oh my god those looks like the oyster from Cabo Rojo. For me, it's just ridiculous to see markets this big. Back home, I've never seen nothing like this, at least in this scale. Yes, I know there are markets and all that stuff, like in my hometown, it's La Plaza del Mercado, every Friday. But it's only every Friday. Here. You have this all day, every day. Mantarraya? They eat it, so... I would like to try it, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they have stingrays, look at that. My second favorite stop, cheeses. Oh my god, I love cheese. Corazón de vaca. I think the great thing about this market right here is that you have a mixture of the food that you can sit down and eat. 
then you can go take whatever you want home and have yourself a greatly cooked meal at home. We have so many things that I think I don't even know where we are. And there was just a kid in the background. <laughs> Grazie. Is it truffle? Ah, trofa. Truffles. First time I try it. Very good. <laughs> you didn't try it, so I ate your part. So we just explored the whole first level of Mercato Centrale Firenze and now we're gonna head to the second floor. Now on the second floor they say there are more food stands and a lot of tables. Since it's very early in the morning I don't think a lot of them will be open but still a good thing to check it out. How is this so big? I don't know why or why it just caught my attention so much. This egg, I thought it was like a candy because it looks so perfectly pretty and just aesthetically beautiful. I said that has to be a candy. But no, olive oil. I saw truffle on the name, but I thought it was gonna be like truffle oil or something like that because I saw the egg on top. No, he adds a little bit more salt. After he reheats it, he adds more oil on top of the egg and then he grabs the truffle and he just goes crazy at it. Truffle is the way to go here in Firenze. I'm scared, this is too good. This is too pretty, I don't wanna ruin it. Why am I gonna ruin it with my dirty mouth? That's why I paid. Mm. Mm. Like I always say guys, embrace the mess. I knew that we were gonna get dirty. It's official guys, I'm moving to Firenze, I'm gonna learn how to cook Italian food and I'm gonna become a chef. That's it, be on the lookout for my new series. I moved to Firenze to learn how to cook. Like the punch of the lime. Really? I thought it was gonna be like a very subtle hint because the mango looks so so no, no, so so no, so more so light than mango. Wow, really? Try the gelato. I'm gonna try. Mm. Oh, it's good. Did you feel the lime punch? But you, it's... you were not wrong about it. Yeah. <laughs> it's so refreshing and yeah. so light. Yeah. And with that being said and done guys, I hope you have enjoyed that beautiful tour we took you of El Mercato Centrale de Firenze. I am leaving right now and it's against my will because I want to stay down here. I want to move out here. You have no idea how much. I say the same everywhere I'm, I, I go and travel to. With that being said guys, comment, like, subscribe. Tongo PR. I'm out guys. Peace.